Hello, welcome to the session on Introduction to Statistics. So what are statistics? What are its uses? And since when are we using statistics? Statistics as a formalized science actually dates to the 17th century. But there is a story which goes that in the 5th century BC, Athenians wanted to scale the walls of Plataea. They had to build ladders. To estimate the height of the ladders, they counted the bricks on the walls and multiplied the height of a brick with the most frequently occurring count, which is the mode. So as we can see, although statistics as a formalized science has been around from the 17th century, some statistical concepts have been in use since a long time. Okay, so what are statistics? People describe statistics in many ways. Some would say it's just managing data. Some would say it's probability. Well, to put everything that statistics does in one sentence, we can broadly define statistics as the science of collecting, classifying, organizing, summarizing, presenting, describing, analyzing, inferring, interpreting, and predicting data for effective decision making. Effective decisions can prevent loss, they can increase productivity, profit, and they can win wars, just as it helped the Athenians. But isn't the definition of statistics the same as the definition of data analytics? Data analytics too involves collecting, organizing, describing, analyzing, inferring, interpreting, predicting data for effective decision making. The difference is that data science uses machine learning and other tools besides statistical procedures and methods. What are the main forms of statistics? The descriptive statistics and predictive statistics. As the word indicates, descriptive describes data. Predictive predicts data. To put simply, descriptive statistics use samples to describe data. Predictive statistics use samples to estimate, infer, predict data. Descriptive statistics involve methods to organize data and present data as information in a way that everyone can understand, as in storytelling. For example, when you say 10, it's a number, it's data. But when you say she is 10 years old, you have converted data into information, as in storytelling. Examples of descriptive statistics are sampling, univariate, bivariate, and multivariate statistics. Sampling is when you collect and use samples to describe something about a population. Univariate statistics make inferences about one variable populations. For example, what is the mean age of people listening in to this session? Multivariate statistics make inferences about the way in which two or more variables are connected in the population. For example, do learners with high scores in math have a large forehead? Predictive statistics help us predict outcomes, or to put it formally, predictive statistics predict the property of a population based on its sample. For example, one might use decision trees, neural networks, and regression techniques for forecasting. Predictive statistics involve statistical procedures like estimations and hypothesis testing. To describe or predict something, we need variables. Variables can be either numbers or characters. When we think of numbers, we think of quantity. So numbers are quantity or quantitative variables. They are numeric data like the number of bank accounts we have or the number of students in a class. Numeric data can be discrete, meaning values with gaps or continuous, meaning values within a range. When data are not numbers, they describe the quality of something. Qualitative data is called qualitative because it represents quality of something in words like good or bad. Examples of qualitative variables are colors like blue, green, which are made up of characters or alphabets. How can we organize and present characters and numbers? Qualitative or non-numeric data can be presented as frequency tables in a table format like in an Excel table where data is grouped into exclusive categories like good or bad with each category showing a certain number of observations like how many times good and how many times bad. When we say how many times good or bad in this case, we actually refer to the class frequency. Graphically. 
Qualitative data can be displayed using bar charts where class frequencies are the bar heights and through pie charts where class frequency is presented as the percentage of a total. Quantitative data can be presented as distributions. Because they are a quantity, they are numbers, they can be distributed. We can distribute the data set into classes with observations and we can study the distribution. The shape of the distribution will show us where data points are concentrated, which values are outliers and so on. We could use quantitative techniques or statistical procedures to get outputs of the numeric type, for example as in hypothesis testing. We could use statistical tools to display quantitative data that result in a picture or a graph like frequency polygons and in different types of plots like histograms and box plots. Would you like to know how to compute, how to describe data, make inferences, predict data? Stay tuned for the next video. Until then, goodbye and stay safe. Thank you for your time.